Hi, we're back. Hope everyone doing well. It's finally here in this channel, the Mario GB22 mod. So today we're going to be playing with some riders in this mod, and we'll see it in a few seconds. What's going on, race fans tuning in today? We're joining you from the Le Mans circuit for live coverage of the Moto2 race at the Grand Prix of France. The skies over the track are clear of clouds, and the latest weather reports forecast temperatures in line with the seasonal average. Right. So Ready this is Rolf Fernandez, he's one of the MotoGP rookies for the 2022 season and currently sit as the youngest rider in MotoGP paddock. He came alongside his teammate Tommy Gardner with the status of a runner-up in previous Moto2 season as a rookie on board the Tech 3 KTM factory racing with 12 podiums including 8 wins in a single Moto2 season. Held up for it now with a bit of information, let's get into the young play. He's already in the top 10. Breaking down hill into La Chapelle. Ooh, he nudges Paul Esparger out wide on the exit. Breaking into the museum corner. He also nudges another Esparger out wide. This has been an aggressive first lap from the 2021 motor to runner up. Into the garage foot. Very careful. Onto the back strike, we go. We open a little bit of gap there. Full throttle on this back strike and then breaking into turn 9. Fernandez looks up the inside for Marquez. There's no room there for him to go through. Into the blue race as they go. Again, Fernandez tries to look up the inside but Marquez is strong at defending. Again, Fernandez tries to pass him but looks like Marquez got the inside line into turn 12. We're about to complete our first lap as Fernandez finally launched an attack of the inside of Marquez into the double final right hander. He's up into sixth place. Look at the corner speed he's able to carry to this long right hander. Fernandez look at the inside Alex Reigns. He also look at the inside of Jack Miller. Brilliant by Fernandez. Picks up two places. Will he be able to make it stick? Block pass attempt completed. Roll Fernandez four. Talk about trust and confidence in that front side of that tag 3 KTM. How far did it come into turn 3? He carries much better speed into this double from first right hander and it launches up the inside of both Alex Rins and Jack Miller into the download chicane. In the mid it's stick as well. Get your mind back in May 2021 when Fabio Quattaro did the same thing to Jack Miller and Maverick Vinales on the same corner when it was about to rain. Outstanding move. Look at the fact that they are ganking each other there. It looks like we're safe here because the gap to the nearest rider behind us is already half a second. We are about to begin the final lap here in Le Mans. Across this line we go. Last lap the race from Jorge Martin, but immediately better by Raul Fernandez. A 130.762. Again, look at the corner speed. Raul Fernandez able to get to the long hander. Can he do the same as he did during the middle of the previous lap? No, he's not crossing up. As they exit the long look, she can. Fernandez just barge on the door of Tagnaide as he forces his way into the podium. Breaking down into La Chapelle, Fernandez tries to defend, but Bagnaia got a better and tighter line there, he's back in the third place. Into the museum corner, Fernandez having none of it, he's retaliated immediately on Bagnaia into the museum corner, pulls him out wide, and Fernandez made it stick. What a battle we witnessed here on the final lap, but while this is happening, they are giving Jorge Martin and Fabio Quattro run away there. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful.
Oh, looks like the score is settled. Mohamed is gonna win here in Le Mans. Fabio Quartaro is bringing home second place. And Ron Fernandez takes his podium after he came a long way from the back of the grid. What a performance, what a race. Victory lap and return to the Parc Ferme. Let's take a look at the final ranking of today's race. Final results came in. As we can see, Jorge Martin wins in Le Mans with Fabio Quartaro and Ron Fernandez completed the podium. Only three of us managed to breach the 131 barrier, totally well deserved. Into the park for me we go. While he was hoping for a win today, third place is still a good result when you're up against riders of this caliber. Let's move on to the next venue with another rider, shall we? So in this round, we're going to be playing as Fabio Di Gian Antonio. He's another one of the rookies in the 2022 season. On board to Ducati GV21 with the new satellite team, Rossini Racing Motor GP, alongside the Navas Mini. Eight total podiums, including one win in three seasons of Motor 2. Don't do for now, let's get into the gameplay. Great weather for the race. Ready to race here in the steering hill. And away we go. Good start from the Gian Antonio from the back of the grid. As he slingshot himself into turn one, plus a bunch of riders on the process. No problem whatsoever. Oh, we almost gone down, caused by the touch of the Pan Pinellas earlier there. Most power battle against the Aprilia man. As the Agent Antonio lays on the brakes into turn 3, throwing himself alongside the electrons, trying to sneak up with the inside with several riders of... Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, thankfully we were, we were able to escape that incident. So, despite everything that has happened, we're already in 7th place. I think it's quite a gap from us to the lead group in front of us, so we gotta step up again a little bit. So, breaking into this tricky turn 9, very easy to lose the front here. And then into the final corner here. Look at Papi, the Gen Antonio launched a surprise attack on Johan Sanz on the back of the turn 10. He didn't even have to barge in, he was quick fast and he made it clean. As we head into turn 1, outbreak for him Martin and launch up the inside of Franco Morbidelli, position out wide. Sorry mate. Regardless, DJ and Antonio fourth. Heartbreaking into turn 3. Gotta be very careful, but no drama whatsoever. Coming into turn 4, very late on the break there, the Gen Antonio. As he squeezes Alicia Spargo onto the podium places, what a move there on the exit to turn 4. Right, I went to the podium early on. Do we even have a chance to fight against those two out front? Anyway, we're about to begin the final lap here in Red Bull Ring. Plus, as the line we go, fastest lap from Black Nile, but immediately better than Fabio Di Gian Antonio, 123 693.
the gap to Black Naya is 1.1 second, while the gap to Quarter is 0.7 second. Looks like the Gen Anthony has to set up for third place here. Or is he? Fabia Quarter runs wide on the exit of turn 4. Fabio runs right there and what a gift to the other Fabio, a rare rare mistake by the world champion. It's a 1-2 from the Cappy here in Red Bulling as it stands. As I said, the gap to Bagnaya is 1.5 seconds, I don't think we can do anything. Looks like the score did settle once again. Fabio Di Gian Antonio will finish his in second place. A job well done from the rookie. What a race. What a race that was. Soon, cameras will take us to the podium to see the award ceremony. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the final ranking of the MotoGP class. As we all can see here in the final result, Peko Bagnaya takes victory with Fabio Di Gian Antonio finishes in second. And Fabio Quattara completes the podium despite that big blunder. I think we are the only one here who breached 124 barrier, but unfortunately wasn't enough to challenge for the victory. Now to the park for me we go. His second place finish is an excellent result for both him and his team, giving them hope for the following races. I think it's a good step for us today, showcasing this amazing mod. If you guys are interested to play this mod, I'll put the link in the description. Also, if you guys have any suggestion for what should I play with in the next videos, feel free to put it in the comment section below. We are picking up again live from the track, where the top three riders have just arrived on the podium for the award ceremony. Each Grand Prix makes its own story, but these guys will definitely be ones to keep an eye on in races to come. And I think it's safe to say that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment on which part is your favorite, and don't forget to subscribe as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Over now.